Hi, welcome to the channel. This is the garden on July 19th today, 2022. Everything is growing. Some people ask me to explain what's growing, what I'm growing. Here, this is a tropical plant. It's called Karachoy. They say it's good for many things, even to cure and prevent cancer. There's so many studies. You can check on, on the internet. There's so many studies about this plant. It's very good. I like it. It's tasty. You can eat the, the, the leaves. And I also, I took this little thing. They grow. They grow on top of the plant. You just put here on a in the soil, and they start to grow. I'll show you how these things. You see here. Yeah. You just take one of these, put it on the soil, and they will grow. Like here. Yes. These are little ones that are growing and growing. So easy to reproduce this plant. But in winter time it has to go inside. Here in Canada it's not really a good plant for this weather. But in some summer time it's outside. I also have the mint. This is the mint. I've been harvesting this one for for a while now. What I do is uh, I chop like a big, a big from here. I chop and I dry for winter. Most of them I consume now in summertime, fresh. Put in the water. Put in the, even in the soup. I put it this. It's so tasty in the soup. Believe it or not. And these are the blueberries. Almost ready. Almost there. Be patient. Finally, the echinacea. Echinacea is a, is a plant, a good one for many things. It's a medi medicinal plant and it's used for many things. Most for common cold, it's very good. I can tell you it's very, very good. There's so many things, ways to, to prepare. And then we have the lavender. I tried this year. This is the first time I'm growing lavender from seas. Oh, it's going well. The smell, oh my god, I can. Oh, be, between the mint and the, the lavender, oh, that's so good. And this is a rose that I used to have here. It used to grow all the way up. So you can see. Yeah. But this year was the word. it was coming out and then there came a frost and the frost just didn't do very well to, to the plant. So I decided to cut, I said well I'm gonna cut and then I saw a little one growing just beside. I said well the plant wants to grow so let, let it be. Here it is, it's growing very slow. Some of you ask me what plants I show you on the other videos. These are a mix of tomatoes and potatoes. This, what happened here? Well, I didn't plan to grow potatoes this year, but when I accidentally, I mix, mix the, the soil with some of the kitchen, you know, leftovers and peels from vegetables and so they were potato peels and from the potato peel and some tomato seeds also grow tomatoes as you see here tomatoes are coming very soon these flowers there's also these are the potatoes of course they're on the ground all this side is full of potatoes accidentally accidentally planted 
and also there is a corn here maybe it came with, with the popcorn that we did one night I don't know well anyways it's very welcome to the garden then we have this squash this in here most of these plants I didn't plant it as you see it's very crowded but I let them grow and it's doing pretty well I just planted zucchinis one squash and, it's, and, and I see three squash growing I don't know why I think it happens the same as the potatoes see these are all zucchinis my dog always here because this year it's been a cold weather apples are not doing very well we have the, the tree was full of apples and they all fall in one frost that came they all fall but it's okay some of them survive and it's still going uh, as we see here this is more potatoes here and we have some peppers but didn't grow they, they just stay here I don't know what happened today we're gonna harvest these ones and this is more potatoes that came from the potato peel so for those who want to start to grow in food I can tell you it's not too difficult to grow potatoes these are pepper, green peppers, but they're not growing. See these tomatoes here. I didn't, I didn't plant these tomatoes. They just came with the seeds and the soil. With the kitchen peels. I also have wild strawberries here. Every year they come a lot of strawberries. But this year nothing, just two or three. I'm gonna get rid of the, the, the wild strawberries and just put something else there. Or maybe buy another kind of strawberries. These ones are lentils. Another pepper. This is accidentally here. See? Not everything has to be planned. But they grow. The sunflowers are doing very well. Okay, today we're going to harvest some zucchinis. Well, only one today. So far, I. I've been harvesting these ones for a while now. This bigger also, but I'm gonna leave it to see how big they grow. So today, and also we can have my kids love these ones. They're green beans. They love it. They're so good for kids. They pack it so much vitamins and energy and, I, and they love it this just serve I, I used to serve as a size dish but they love it so much that I can give it even for snacks they don't let them grow too much they just want me to to harvest them This year I didn't have too many because it's, the, it's been so cold. I don't know why. But today, this year, these green beans are not producing like every year. But I guess every year is different. For a farm, I'm not a farmer. I'm a city girl. Just trying to learn how to grow 
how to live from the land, which is good. And also food tastes different. Kids also realize that. They say, Mom, this food tastes different than the one in the supermarket. And I like that. No, I don't use any pesticides. I don't use any uh, fertilizers. Just put through some food from the kitchen. Peels, even the coffee ground, eggs, shell, all those kind of things. And everything works. Well, thank you for watching. Next video, I will show you more. Thank you. Bye.